Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl were just the beginning. You can explore a new world in the Sinnoh region, discover powerful new forms of Pokemon, and experience the all-new Wi-Fi Plaza and Battle Frontier. Hello everybody, Megazard X here. Back at it again to give you another very exciting collection reflection video where I take the time out just to go through my collection, whether it be a game, a console, a limited edition, anything else in between. I just take something off my shelf and just sit down and talk about it today. And with today being Pokemon Day overall, I don't know exactly what they happened to showcase off in that latest, you know, Pokemon Presents presentation though. But nonetheless, there might have been some good mixed or bad stuff up in it though. But nonetheless, I just want to kind of give my own personal thoughts on a couple games I actually hold very dear to my heart. And it is none other than Pokemon Diamond as well as Pokemon Platinum because these Gen 4 games overall, I would say had a very strong impression, at least within my early life, within my childhood. For me playing through these games and i would say definitely what pokemon diamond in particular though this is technically the first pokemon game i own for myself in general overall like i had some games i was share case sharing with my brother at the time though but that is technically the first pokemon game i own for myself so in today's video it's gonna be a little bit of a two for one video um you're gonna hear me saying my thoughts and stuff for both pokemon diamond and platinum um all together though so if you hadn't already done so make sure you're going to hit this like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell to stay up to date on all things video game related i feel like talking about and discussing but without any further ado let's go ahead and jump straight up into this video All right, so Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Platinum. Let's go ahead and talk about Diamond first, though, because like what I said earlier, this is the first game in the whole entire Pokemon series that I own for myself. Previously before this, I technically had access to playing, starting off with Pokemon Fire Red, and then I ended up playing Pokemon Emerald. Those were my first two games within the Pokemon franchise, though. But Pokemon Diamond was the first one I owned for myself. Didn't have to worry about a shared file or anything like that sharing pokemon and all that stuff no all of that was out the window with my brother this was my game and i was able to dive up into this myself though now with pokemon diamond this was a very interesting game with it being you know the first intro introduction of the games for diamond and pearl for generation four for pokemon you know what there was a lot of stuff you were able to do there was like the introduction of it being on the nintendo ds so you had dual screen so like literally the bottom screen was dedicated to your poke edge where you're able to do some like extra little functions on that i mean you're able to tap switch around pokemon you know that stylus with the screen it was very intuitive at least with the pokemon series in general though and that's something that we managed to have what what with generations four and five and six and seven until we got all the way up to the nintendo switch with pokemon sword and shield though so yeah that dual screen was really important starting with this game and moving on forward we also had the what was it the nintendo wi-fi connection like we were finally able to actually trade pokemon not just locally with the old gba cable no well now we can obviously do it wirelessly and over the internet and stuff so the, having the gts the global trade station available within these games freaking phenomenal right there though it made a lot of trading and stuff with people that you just didn't know a lot easier made things more possible in terms of you hunting down and finding certain specific pokemon i even remember the, one of the first shiny pokemon i ever owned for myself was like a shiny kingdra i randomly got that from somebody um off of the gts trade and i was like what why the heck did someone give this away to me it was level 100 on on top of that as well though that's probably like one of the luckiest trades i managed to ever get right there though but nonetheless though man there, there's a lot of good fond memories up in here obviously team galactic and stuff that was like you know i would say they're up there in terms of my most favorite antagonist teams like they don't make teams like that anymore when in the pokemon games like team aqua team magma incredible galactic was good um even the, the antagonists when in pokemon black and white were also cool so three through five i will always say is the golden era of pokemon games just across the board in general i think gen 6 onward you got a little bit mixed washy and you know exactly where we're at right now when in um, these current generations we're in right now with Scarlet and Violet. But yeah, Pokemon Diamond, I, I remember just going through and playing through this game. I think one of the major flaws, at least with Diamond in particular, is the fact that obviously how slow uh, enemies, um, it takes to even get in the battle, 
high damage, have their health bar drop all the way down to zero. Like, you've seen those memes out there, like, you know, some dude going through and trying to kill a Blissey with all that excess HP and, and almost taking like a solid minute for it to go from like max HP down to zero. Like, we all seen that footage though. So, it really needed a lot of strong upgrades and stuff like that. And that's where Pokemon Platinum came into play. Because, you know, looking back at it retrospectively, I have a lot of fond memories of Pokemon Diamond though, but they were reiterated once again within Pokemon Platinum. And it did everything in Diamond and Pearl just a lot better, a lot faster. Like, it's hard for me to go back and play the OG Diamond at this point, considering how much better Platinum is overall. Like, in terms of the battle interactions, obviously, you're able to get certain Pokemon a lot easier within Platinum as well. And then, oh, shoot. The Pokemon Platinum special events and stuff that you're able to do with like Garatina. Obviously you're able to capture Garatina in Pokemon Diamond though, but when in Pokemon Platinum, having the whole plot line center around it, like when you're up on Mount Cornet and you know, he has Cyrus up there and he's trying to wreak havoc and stuff and do things with Dyla and Palkia, but then being whipped into that distortion world. I just still remember that very fondly, even up until this point today, because while yes, you're only able to go into the distortion world once, at least within this one specific section though, it was just nice being able to traverse, walk left and right, you know, upside down and stuff, going up, uh, you know, going up a waterfall instead of naturally going down it. It it changed a lot of different things. I'm I'm just kind of sad in the fact that you know they didn't didn't kind of build upon that distortion world. I felt like they could have done a little bit more stuff with it since the introduction of Hit within these Gen Four games, but. You know, that's all they managed to do. Obviously, you can go back in it one more time to get the, what is it called? The Grisegis Orb that allows you to train, change um, Garatina's form from the altar to the origin form. Like, you're able to go back and do that. But nonetheless, though, I think Platinum is a freaking phenomenal game. And including within the unique stuff that they had up in Platinum, they actually added in Battle Frontier. Because originally in Diamond, you only had the Battle Tower. But within, you know, within Platinum, they added a little bit more and stuff like that. You also had that downstairs basement part in the pokemon center that literally allowed you to do the that plaza which had like a whole bunch of other events and stuff like that it's not upsetting now how you don't really have access to doing that anymore unfortunately because the you know nintendo wi-fi connection shut down on the nintendo ds overall though but nonetheless at the time that was really cool and then obviously you had like a lot of cool events and stuff and i feel like the events within this game played out a little bit more special than like what they do nowadays like with most mythicals and stuff they just kind of give it to you as mystery give and this call of the day however you know back in the day they had little things like you know you had a little ticket and you remember going into that one town and going to sleep and then um waking up in a like a weird old island and Capturing Darkfire, getting a letter for Professor Oak to capture Shaman, or getting that Azura flute to go all the way up to the top to actually challenge Arceus himself, literally the god of all Pokemon and stuff. I mean, you had some really cool, unique stuff within, you know, this generation overall as a whole that I didn't really see transpire that well within even most modern Pokemon games. This is it's kind of a thing of the past, but it was such a nice beauty just to kind of behold and go through all those events and stuff like that. So honestly, there's a lot of fun moments I have with both Pokemon Platinum as well as Pokemon Diamond while going through and playing this as, you know, as a child and stuff, though. Obviously, trading stuff was cool. Battling was actually a lot more feasible. Now you don't have to worry about keeping up with a GBA link cable and stuff. They just did a lot of cool advancements in these games that we still see and apply to every future game from this point moving forward, though. But you just have to kind of be there within that generation, though. The only thing I really hate is when they went and remade Pokemon Diamond and had Ilka do it, which Ilka is a very talented studio. However, you know, thanks to the, the vision that the Pokemon Company wanted for this remake of this game, man, those Diamond and Pearl remakes just suck. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. They just suck. If you want to play a Gen 4 game, you know, go and play Pokemon Platinum or a more modern one. I say pick up Legends Arceus. Like, that's literally the remake of Gen 4 that I see in my eyes in comparison to brilliant diamond and shining pearl like you know legends arceus that was freaking phenomenal it's a very unique experience i still say that that game is probably one of my most favorite pokemon games and you know on the nintendo switch overall as a whole 
beating out Sword and Shield, beating out Scarlet and Violet, because it did something very unique. I really want to see another game within that series. Maybe we'll go to, you know, the Johto region next, though. But overall, these Gen 4 games, Diamond as well as Platinum, are freaking phenomenal games. Games I really hold close and dear to my heart. And had I not been able to go through and experience these games, I mean, shoot, I might be a very different kind of gamer um, nowadays, though. But you got to let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you think about, you know, these Gen 4 games? Well, I spoke about Diamond and Platinum in particular. Obviously, these things also, you know, translate well with Pokemon Pearl as well. I just didn't own that game. My brother owned that game, though. But let me know what you thought about, you know, about these games in general, these whole entire Gen 4 games down below in the comment section i'll be very pleased to see exactly what you're kind of leaning on on the fence with these games though and not just these games in general maybe some other childhood game you could be talking about fire red emerald ruby sapphire any one of these pokemon games i just love to see what you have thought about certain pokemon games that you hold close and dear to your heart down in the comment section down below but that's gonna basically do it in terms of today's video though so if you really like this make sure going to hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell to stay up to date on all things video game related I feel like talking about and discussing those. So remember y'all, until we're a video I make next, see y'all.